Hi, this is Craig Forzani with another Don't Miss a Point of Business video. <laughs> right now I'm driving actually from uh, Kelowna, British Columbia all the way to Phoenix. It's a three day trip. And it's ironic because the kind of light bulb gets me here to say, hey, literally, you know, almost every human being on earth knows this exercise. And the exercise is uh, the beginning of yesterday, I started with a map, said, destination or my vision my end goal to get to Phoenix okay how many hours of driving is it ah, it's 24 hours of driving well I've elected to take that in three days three eight-hour days because I have my dog with me panda and we want to stop you know get some fresh air and stretch a little bit and you know not not be in the car 12 hours a day so I elect to do three eight-hour days well then I got three eight-hour days and then I pick okay where am I gonna stay those two nights and then okay where am I gonna stop and eat and where am I gonna get gas? And all those things. It's I'm planning my trip because the end goal is to get to Phoenix in three days. Now, it hits me today. How many people actually do that when it comes to their business? So, end goal. Today I'm making, and I'm gonna make something up here. Uh, go look at your P&L. If you're making, I'm not gonna make this up. Here's an exercise for you. Go look at your profit and loss statement. If you're making, less than 10% net profit after you pay yourself a fair market salary for your position and your company and your expenses. So add in a fair market salary to your position. If after that you're making less than 10% net profit, then in my opinion, uh, you're underperforming. So the vision, the goal, to get it over 10%. How do I gotta do that? What are those stages? What are those things I'm gonna work on? Well, you gotta look at your revenue dollars. You gotta look at your cost of goods as a percentage of that revenue. You gotta look at your expenses as a percentage of that revenue. And within those revenue dollars, cost of goods and expenses, you gotta look at the levers you gotta pull and what are those numbers gotta be? What does that each of those numbers have to be for me to make 10%? And then you gotta build your little step plans on how to get there. Like, what do I gotta do? I gotta put a marketing plan in place. I gotta measure return on investment by strategy. What are those strategies gonna be? How am I gonna do them? What's my sales process to convert people from the marketing to the become a customer? And when they become a customer, do I have a raving fan process in place to make sure they buy from me again and they send me referrals? Um, in your wages, are you budgeting properly with scheduling so your wages are a percentage of revenue, you're not overspending? Uh, is everybody efficient? Are they using playbooks and calendars and checklists so that they're efficient and your wages are a low percentage of revenue? All of those things, are your margins high? Are you negotiating with your vendors? Are you managing your product and service mix? Which margins are higher, which ones are lower? These are all things that you go in your plan, they're levers you pull in your P&L to make them more profitable. Plan them. Check them off one at a time. You already know this exercise because anybody listening to this knows how to plan a trip. They know how to do that, everybody knows how to do that. So plan it. And you'll see after you plan it, you put the time aside to check those things off and you do them and you train your team on them and lo and behold, you'll get more net profit.